we're going to see if we can get Gen 2 to work on this little beauty. So it has 24 megabytes of RAM, a 75 megahertz 486DX CPU. It's going to be an interesting one, boys. Let's see what we can do. We start with an i686 stage. We need to convert that into an i486 stage. We're using muscle to reduce memory usage. So let's get started by a char rooting in. We do our emerge sync as per usual. Everything's going well. Now, let's get our optimizations in. We're going to go for size here. So OZ for the smallest, optimize for I684, and um, omit frame pointers because I'm not sure if it takes, and LTO for smaller runtime binaries that I use flags and set everything to testing. It's now time to begin. Big kills first. The excitement's getting there. And a uh, half burst, hot patch, a mismatch. Now the compiler begins, bin your tills. Then muscle, we're going for muscle 125 with the newest version. GCC 14 as well. The compiler takes. All that's required is lib tools to go. system is now ready so it's time for an emerge world and the compiling begins we need to rebuild everything for these new flags to get the size down to as small as possible the compiling the compiling oh the compiling the compiling the madness and views program it is we just decide to ignore it let's just continue we're now at the finish line not much is left only IP routes has failed nothing important there's no networking on this laptop anyway Now do our tools that we need. We need grub, fast fetch. You see our stats. 
and of course the Gen 2 kernel, the most important part. Begin our kernel using the smallest config we can use. If we use the command make a tiny config, that will build the smallest bare bones you can get for a kernel. We can then add any option that we need and go back to the compiling. After going through menus and menus, options and options, tweaking and prodding. we finally get to the end. Next is setting up the hard drive space. We go 50 meg for a boot, 512 for a swap, and the remaining hard drive space, about 2.5 gig. We now transfer over our files after creating the file systems. And all that's left is throwing the sink at it to make sure everything is there. And now it's time. Let's transfer this drive over to the Does It Boot.
Uh, can't seem to log in. But hey, it boots. That's progress, right? Well, thank you for joining me on this journey. And, uh, yeah, we're nearly there. Hopefully uh, next time we'll have this fully working. But until then, keep compiling. So it's clear I have a gen to addiction. Why not help enable me to get new hardware or just cope with the stresses with vodka like these wonderful people you see before you. Prices only start at one dollar and every little bit helps me. Thank you. Some upcoming ideas I have are shown on the screen now, but obviously it's up to you.